Many of us collected things as kids, baseball cards, bottle caps, but could you imagine collecting three million of something? News 10's Joe Ostrowski spent the day with some students who are doing just that and are helping people in need in the process. Danielle Zirkel knows how to help kids finish a task. Out. You need to be quiet. But when she started teaching math at Hudsonville High School, she found a project that desperately needed finishing. I found a big coffee can with about 3,000 pop tabs in it, and I wandered down to the principal's office and just said, why do I have these? It turns out the pull tabs had been left by another math teacher named Ms. Noblet. For years, she'd collected pull tabs, two million in all, to raise money for Ronald McDonald House charities. She'd been working on another million when cancer drove her from the classroom. And she had started her third million in the fall of 2009, but she was diagnosed with cancer and passed away right before Thanksgiving. While illness took their teacher, it couldn't take away the students' drive and dedication. Bag by bag, they brought more tabs, and Ms. Zirkel students kept on doing the math. And I probably get a Ziploc bag a day from somebody in the community that drops them off. Those bags full have brought the grand total up to 2,300,000 pull tabs. Two million of those have already been sent to Ronald McDonald House, where their aluminum is traded in to help fund programs for sick kids. It always goes to good use. You wouldn't think that pop tabs would be all that exciting or be all that community driven, but it really has been. A lesson in perseverance. Learned one pull tab at a time. In Hudsonville, Illinois, with photojournalist Tony Castasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Now, Ms. Zirkel says she's always taking more pull tabs, and she says you can drop them off at Hudsonville High School. If you'd like to learn more about the Ronald McDonald House, it's a wonderful operation. We have provided a link at our website, WTHITV.com.